Have you guys been heartbroken? Oh, comes the fun part. Letting go of someone that you love is the most difficult thing in the world, and the shortest. One day. <laughs> I was no, expecting that no, answer. No, 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 no. Those don't count. If if it's one day, it does not count. Okay, no, we are not counting those. Oh my god, I keep getting that. Why? It's a relationship. You need to count that. No. <laughs> How many people have you dated? Let's not reveal that. By the way, has never been revealed before. She literally told me this in that moment. She's like, and she's saying goodbye to me. She will just say, "Maran Jili, apni zindagi hai." And in that, she tells me, "Mujse zada pyar tumhe dunya mein koi kar nahi sakta." So welcome back to my podcast, Unset Feelings with Shanky. And today's episode is going to be amazing and beautiful. because today we have a queer couple nick and shantika who are going to discuss about their love story and about everything they have gone through so keep watching and keep showing us love in this beautiful podcast studio which is taper fox studio in indranagar so hi nick and shantika Hello. okay so before i'm sure a lot of people already know about you what i have explained to them but we want to know a little more about you guys from you so it'll be better if you give me an introduction about her and you give me an introduction mm. about her okay so um introduction about shantika well she changes her personality every day that's why i think um i i feel i fall in love with a new girl every day <laughs> but to best describe is uh, if you've seen jab we met Yes. Yeah. So Karina from Jab We Met, and if you've seen uh, Kabi Kushi Gam Kajol, so she is the perfect combination of Karina and Kajol from these two movies. Oh my God! That I, is Shantika for you. That is such a good <laughs> introduction about. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. Okay, it's your turn now. Go for it. All right. Um, how do I describe Nick? Uh, I think the best way to describe Nick would be to say she's the. perfect example of what a romantic partner can be like oh, wow <laughs> definitely uh this does not come through uh, often but she's extremely romantic and she is the she's the filmy hero that i've always dreamt of you know the <laughs> um, later i realized i want a heroine but uh, the filmy hero with the big romantic gestures that's her and at the same time she is the most practical level headed voice in our relationship and that is what makes her my princess charming oh Aww. wow <laughs> i think i like I, i'm single so i feel a little <laughs> jealous now <laughs> but that is so beautiful okay so now we want to know who are you guys individually as an individual who are you like what do you do and what what are the things that you love Okay so um I work as a senior brand marketer and um very passionate about everything related to advertising and marketing uh that is unfortunately the uh, people might consider this the boring part but there are more interesting aspects <laughs> to my personality uh I I am also a drag king I go by the drag name uh, Bloody Kamina one of the very few wow. drag kings in India Wow as a person I am very practical like shantika said you know we are polar apart i am very practical very money minded very logical um i love my family i love my friends and i love all the things that are close to me i keep them very close to my heart always and that's about me wow i think i'll give you extra point for that point where you mentioned money minded <laughs> oh definitely yeah, it is so important it, it is, is so, so important, important. <laughs> <laughs> and i think especially as a queer human beings uh it is financial independence is something that is very very, very important, important for us Definitely. because it's it's not just about finances but it also gives us a certain privilege it gives us a certain autonomy when it comes to being able to live our lives yeah our way you know? It, it know it gives us that freedom know, to be I ourselves know. yeah and especially in the society when there is so many odds whenever you step out you take a step There's so many things going around. Like you can't even explain. Yeah. In that kind of an environment, it is so important to be independent financially. True. True. Right. 
who are okay. you <laughs> so uh, so like nick said um, i'm a different person every day in fact uh, how i dress every day kind of reflects <laughs> who i am feeling like that day like some day i'll you know wake up and be like oh i feel like you know i'm like full boss lady and everything so i'm going to be all power suited up and everything and some days i'm a princess and i'm all like in fluffy clothes and uh, tulle and everything so i do like my personality does shift on a day to day basis but i think one of the things that's uh, very constant about me is that <coughs> sorry i love to create um i'm a writer i work as a senior copywriter wow. with an e-commerce company uh, i also uh, love creating content with nick and all of that is something that i think is the creative aspect of me i do tend to get a little um, <laughs> overboard and dreamy and uh, not be very practical i think that's where the balance in our relationship comes from her being a capricorn and i'm a libra oh, <laughs> so, uh, but yes as a person uh, i'm a writer I'm a poet. I write spoken word poetry as well. Oh my uh, god. Oh my god. Oh, beautiful. I do write and perform spoken word poetry and uh, I'm somebody who wears her pride on her sleeves. I have never been able to be very closeted uh because especially when it comes to not ju- not just about the LGBT community, especially when it comes to oppression of marginalized communities, it is something that is very it's a part of my soul standing up and giving a voice to any kind of giving a voice against any kind of oppression i think that's just makes me me and that that is that is so beautiful i think the way you've explained yourself is so good and it's it's so warming like sitting here it just feels home Aww. right now so with that how long have you guys been in a relationship <laughs> okay now that's a complicated question because uh, technically uh, we are together since 3 years officially uh, yeah, okay. 3 years to hamari abhi third ko third was our anniversary and it yes. was our 3 year anniversary okay. but we've been dating for four and a half years yes now therein is the complication <laughs> i want to understand that complication so officially yeah. you guys are dating for 3 years yes yeah and otherwise Dating for four, four and a half. Years. Four and a half. And yes. what does that mean? Beach me, I think there was some uh, speed bumps also. A case of breakup also happened. That was small. So uh, total four years you can consider. Yeah. Four years. Four years. So were you? Have you watched Friends? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> were you on a break? <laughs> no, we were not on a break. We had a full blown breakup. Yeah. Okay. We had a very dramatic breakup, and you know our our love story, in fact. as filmy as we both are yeah. uh, so one thing common between us is we are fully filmy and that's why our bio also says fully filmy fully, lesbian couple i know i know i know <laughs> i i read that the first thing when i saw your bio <laughs> and that's exactly why the relationship is also like four and a half years and the three years gap uh, to explain that we'll have to tell you our love story yeah please please i want to know all of us want to know okay uh, so i was in bombay uh, and this is seven years ago Yes, six, six, seven, seven years, years ago. ago. Yes, yes. I was in Bombay, and uh, Shantika was just a Facebook friend. So yeah. you know, it, because the community is small, you tend to add everyone you know from the community. Is. Absolutely, they're definitely on your Facebook. Uh, n- n- then Facebook, now Instagram, <laughs> yeah, on your Facebook list. And she was always there, but we'd never spoken to each other. I didn't know her. Like I didn't know. I just know, knew of her, but never. Same. Said, same. Never I never said paid hi. any attention to her. Some Facebook friend, <laughs> random. That's all. Yeah. And then uh, my job at Bangalore happened, and I was supposed to move to Bangalore. And while I was moving to Bangalore, there was this random rumor that me and Shantika are dating. And we were so not dating. And we had never met. Never spoken. What do you mean a random rumor R- from? A random, random rumor. rumor doing the rounds in the community that we are dating. Yeah. And I was shocked. I'm like, where is this coming from? And like my my. friends at the time they told me listen we heard you're dating somebody called nick and i'm like who's this nick who is this person and i'm like ha samajhte kya hai apne aap all times you know oh well, uh, so it was hate at first sight it was never love at first sight when i came to bangalore when i finally saw her i'm like okay this is the girl that has been telling people that she's dating me ha huh? yeah because i don't like her we made an assumption about each other we both thought that the other person has started the rumor and we ended up blaming each other for the rumor so inevitably we were like Okay, this person is doing random rumors about me. I do not like them. But where did you meet first then? 
so we met at bangalore at a community party uh, but again it was just like hate at first sight oh samajhti kya aapne aapko i don't know yeah, 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 yeah same yeah. thing <laughs> i i roll like absolutely i roll at each other did not talk to each other at all maybe like from a cut he or something like that nothing more than that did not talk to each other because we were so like we were i guess we had preconceived notions about each other and we did not like each other from the get go so kahani ekdam dushmani se shuru hui in fact i didn't even check her out i checked out her best friend at that time oh at that party oh my god <laughs> but did you guys get to know who did that who like who started yeah, yeah, yeah. telling the rumor we did we did we did, did. We, did. Oh. <laughs> we cannot divulge that but we did uh, you got to know yeah. that, yeah. that is and then what next then you Uh, the then person. that's how it started. Then we kept bumping into each other at uh, random parties. There are a lot of community events and all of that. Uh, but we again uh, were never cordial to each other. Uh, then <laughs> yeah. I think fast forward to uh, three years later. Yeah, well, yeah. Three years, three years after later that. after you moved to Bangalore. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And uh, you know, luckily, or I don't two know, years for, later, I think uh, two, years two years later. Two years later. Fortunately. I had made friends with all the people that she knew. Like all her friends yeah, were I, now yeah. my she friends. She came to Mangalore and became friends with all of my friends. Oh my only God. she didn't like me only, huh? <laughs> yeah. So I think in these two years, I was forming a lot of mutual friends to reach out to her <laughs> subconsciously, maybe. <laughs> Universe was conspiring. Oh, were you already planning? You were like setting no, no, the trap. No, no, no. No, I was not interested. Like I said before. <laughs> I, th- I, I think in some ways, you know, uh, and we do believe this, that yeah. sometimes. the universe is at work to bring two yes. people for together sure. and believe, you just can't help it i believe yeah. in that yeah. i keep on sure believing <laughs> so yeah fast forward to two years later um, i again happened to meet her so i was playing uh, cricket uh, with a group of community people uh, so bunch of uh, as we meet on weekends and uh, play cricket and shantika has no connection with sports whatsoever <laughs> she has, she's more the cheerleader kind but so, so she and she's the player i am oh. the player oh <laughs> wow so she was there uh, along with a friend she just got a friend to introduce that friend to the uh, cricketing uh, group and uh, that's when we spoke for the first time uh, i think because of rains or something we couldn't yeah. play and we just uh, sat um, by the road and we were having sulemani chai okay yeah it's very bangalore thing to I do <laughs> no fancy day just sitting by the roadside having sulemani chai you know <laughs> yeah and we got talking for the first time properly okay uh, i think circumstances made us just like end up there and uh-huh. we got talking did you stop hating each other that time yeah because by this time we had a lot of mutual, mutual friends yeah. also no so okay. that kind of helped yeah <laughs> and i think the first time i properly had a conversation with her uh, while you know after that match uh is when i think i figured that okay she's not so bad maybe i jumped the gun and judged her a little too much <laughs> maybe i should give her a shot in terms of like friendship yeah. and that's how we became friends yeah so from dushmani then it turned to friendship friendship yeah. and then we mm-hmm. became friends and because there were a lot of mutual friends we were we started hanging out together and uh, we were a group of like 10 12 people but uh, I think there was an instant connection between us as friends. Uh we used to st- spend nights talking to each other, uh, talking about randomest thing on the planet. Um, like everybody would go off to sleep and just the two of us would sit and yeah. talk for hours. Oh my yeah. god. You know? Oh my god. And you know this thing when you have a special connection with somebody even when you're sitting in a group, you somehow know that <laughs> there is something like a slight change in my mood and she'd be the first one to notice. you know oh, yeah. uh, if i'm yeah. feeling sick she'd be the first one to take care of me or you know be like are you okay what can i get you and things like that and there was a special care mm. which was different from what she was showing to every other friend uh, in the group yeah because i think uh, i had started crushing on her a little bit maybe <laughs> because uh, again um, i remember this moment uh, we were at a house and there was a house party and uh, the song chaiya chaiya played and because you know how filmy how we filmy are, you are. <laughs> <laughs> i got on the dance floor and started dancing to chaiya chaiya and she joined me and it looked like a choreographed performance like we sing so well 
Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is clicking. <laughs> okay, this is the hint that you wanted. Yeah. That is the sign you wanted. Yeah, it's yeah. like if, if you can match steps so effortlessly, you're going to match steps for the rest of your oh life. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> the way you guys say it, no, it is so beautiful. All of these lines I'm going to put and it's just going to go viral. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that happened. And then uh, the moment when... Uh, so I think... by this time i was already falling for her mm-hmm. uh, but the moment uh, she realized it is uh, so we had played this game of truth and dare and somebody had asked me like if you, if you like somebody what do you tend to notice so i said you know subconsciously maybe i look at the lip area okay uh, that's just the thing and somehow she remembered this and then one day i remembered it <laughs> and then one day we were in the kitchen and we both were cooking for our friends and uh, while cooking i again subconsciously i was just looking at her lips and she saw that oh my god and mm-hmm. she like immediately i think it was a total caught you moment like she was looking at my lips i looked at her and without saying a word not a word was exchanged and my eyes were like okay i know and in that moment her eyes were like oh no oh, she, oh, knows. Knows. she knows there was a you know she knows that i, I know, know that, that she I know knows that that <laughs> we spoke a million words in that moment and it was just i could feel the spark in in her eyes in my eyes and something magical happened in that moment so that's when pyar became dosti and in true no, srk dosti style became pyar. Pyar. sorry dosti <laughs> became pyar in true srk style i think as filmy as we are even uh, that srk line has proved to be true for us that pyar dosti don't hai. tell me you are a srk fan Big time! Oh my yes. God, I am an. Did you? I am a big time. Chaya, chaya, come on! Yeah, did yeah, you get the hints already? Everything is falling into place. <laughs> like dosti, dosti, yaar hai, and then chaya, chaya, all of it. So yeah. then, after that moment, so then, how did it? How long did it take you to tell each other that okay, there is something that go okay, that so is going on? Okay, so from that moment on, I think. We we actually like without saying it, we actually said it to each other. So we did Excuse start. Excuse me, you said it that very <laughs> night. Yeah. <laughs> What did you? I, mean, I want to know. Yeah, I, she I just uh, <laughs> actually not night? not the same had... night actually. Mm. Uh, so next day mm. I was leaving from her place mm. and uh, she just came to me and whispered, "I love you" in my ears, and I was shocked. I'm like. Okay, and I'm looking at my friend. What did this happen? अब हो गया तो हो गया. I was not expecting this. I was like, okay. <laughs> and how did you react to that? You're crushing on a girl, and she comes and says, "I love you." It's like सोहने पे सुहा का. Woohoo! It's like you're not expecting it, and it happens. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. So this this is when we started dating, which is four and a half years ago, which is why we say four and a half years ago. Hmm. But. Because our relationship went from like dushmani to dosti, dosti to pyar, and there was no definite moment where we like made it okay. We are dating exclusively. Okay, you know? still you did not like officially come into a relationship. Yeah, and I think when you said I love you to her, I think still you were just. <laughs> हाँ, not sure. As friends, like risk, more than friends. risk नहीं लेना ना तो not sure. यार हो गया but रिश्ता. Because again you don't you you know there is always this uh, phase that I think all of us have gone through yeah. where you know you don't want to ruin a friendship. Yeah, yeah. I know. I so know. you want to keep it safe and you are like uh, little reluctant whether to say it or not or take the next move. It should not you know screw up the friendship. We was we were we had a mutual friends group also. We were worried you know what what if it like you know. destroys the friendship destroys. dynamics or the group yeah. what she already happen? said i love you to you right yes. but then you didn't respond anything and you didn't i did not respond anything <laughs> oh oh my god so so basically after that moment you just continued like that yes. for one year uh no for a few months then no. i actually uh, took her uh, to a friend's wedding in lucknow and um, i officially i would say that's where our relationship started not exactly yeah Yeah, we went to this uh, wedding in Lucknow. Actually, there's a beautiful story uh, from Lucknow also. Yeah. Uh, so we were in one of those tuk-tuks, you know. I know tuk-tuks. Tuk-tuk yes. uh, autos. <laughs> so we were going in one of those tuk-tuks, and we were sitting opposite each other. And in that moment, अभी पहला पहला प्यार हुआ है, you know, all the romance is coming, coming. full blown. Yeah. So we were and looking Lucknow at each other. And Lucknow की सर्दी. Yeah, it was been beautiful weather. Yeah, uh, all of it. Set up is perfect. Yeah, all of it. Set up is perfect, and we were lost in each other. We were looking at each other. So we are sitting in this auto where there are more 
people around more yes, people I know. in this you in share this the order, yeah. basically so there is some auntie there is some auntie with a kid there is some didi going to college so there were only women surprisingly only women, in the auto yeah. yeah and we were sitting opposite to each other hmm. and we were just lost in each other's eyes we were just looking at each other and like i said you know the atmosphere everything the setup was so beautiful we we were just lost and we this auto is going on and suddenly there's a speed breaker that's when we break out of the okay. moment so, like suddenly you become conscious kare okay. yaar auto mein hai you know around. and then we look around all the women uh, other women that are sitting in the auto we look around they are blushing looking at our love are you serious they are blushing wow. we did not hold our hands we did not touch each other we didn't do any gesture whatsoever just, we just were just the eye contact just the eye contact and they saw the love and in a city like lucknow you know where queer relationships yeah. are probably not not even seen, seen yeah, like yeah. this and it was so beautiful like i felt this is love this is like the magic of love magic. you know you don't without if you when you see it without any uh, lens of judgment what you see is pure magic. pure magic and that's what i experienced in that auto all the other women were blushing it was so beautiful so, and i think uh, There, there is something about eye contact, you know. Yeah, there is something yeah. about eye contact. S R K se sikha hai. But like honestly, like for me also, I think eye contacts are so beautiful. I think it just tells you about how much the other person adores you, how much do they want you, yeah. and I think it just sums up everything. The way you mm-hmm. look at each other, I think, right? And that is why eye contacts can tell you a lot of things. I've been a few. I've been in few relationships where I did not have good eye contact with the person. I I think that yeah. explains a lot about the yeah. relationship, right? Definitely. And I've been in few where it has been magical. <laughs> okay, so I think that explains a lot about love and about who they are to you, basically. So after that, hmm. after that moment, so did you officially come to yes. a conclusion? <laughs> We, we are dating now. Okay, no, no. So, few like months later, again, we oh, took our time. We took our time. And like how you are getting, uh, you know, curious. Abhi, when is the proposal happening? The same thing was happening with Shyamdika. I'm like, there has to be a proposal. Yeah. I know we said there like the whole life. There has we to be a proposal. We are Shahrukh Khan fans. There yeah, has to be a proposal. Yeah. There is the epic proposal, right? So I, I, I was dropping very, very subtle hints. A very that subtle. Very, yeah. very subtle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know there should be like I've always dreamt of a epic proposal and all of that. So this was on third February, which is our anniversary, which is why we say our anniversary is three years ago. Three years ago on third uh, February, we were in Mumbai, and she told me that she's planned a surprise date for me. We are going out somewhere. I'm like, okay, कहाँ जा रहे बताओ and nothing she gave. Okay, and uh, I asked her please tell me what to wear because. पता चला स्केटिंग वेटिंग लेके गई मैं मिनी स्कर्ट में जा रही हूँ बट शी सेट ओके वेयर समथिंग डेट सी एंड लाइक फ्लोटी एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट एम लाइक सो वी गो टू गेट वे ऑफ इंडिया एंड जस्ट जस्ट रिलेबल टू कॉन्टेक्ट सो आई लव द ओशन आई हैव ऑलवेज बिग बीन अ बिग फैन ऑफ द सी द ऑल ऑफ दैट वॉटर सो वी गो ऑन अ स्मॉल बोट एंड दिस अनदर कपल सिटिंग ऑन द बोट विथ हर एंड I think okay, this is where we are going, and I'm super happy with it. I'm like, hey, boat ride, you know, in the ocean. Yeah, this yeah. is amazing. She's like, wait, this is not your surprise. The boat takes us to the middle of the ocean, and we get transferred to a yacht. She had booked this private yacht. It was decorated with red and white balloons. Beautiful view of uh, the ocean. There is gateway uh, of India. There is Taj. Everything. Sunset is happening, which is also my favorite time of the day. and there in that beautiful setting on that yacht she went down on her knees and she asked me to be her pill she said will you be my pill oh my God. so we call each other up a pill so which is partner in life and <laughs> yeah, i i said yes obviously <laughs> oh yeah. my and god here's oh. the ring there's a oh ring oh <laughs> shit oh shit guys i think i did not want to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. everyone did of the yeah, proposal absolutely. like that but that is so beautiful that is so pretty and then how did you react to it i obviously <laughs> said i i actually went down on my knee as well oh wow <laughs> yeah, and like i hugged her and i said yes obviously i mean the answer was going to be yes yacht or all of that or no i mean i i think by that point i knew that i wanted to spend the rest of my life with her but uh, 
yeah the grant proposal helps <laughs> <laughs> you know th- there is a thing in like in my family i don't know everyone does that or not they do this yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, after that point it's been 3 years you've been dating so your families know know about it <clears throat> yeah so shantika's family let me start with that because i have never seen such an accepting and supportive parents um it was always difficult for me to have conversation with my parents again um coming from a typical maharashtrian household um we don't really have conversations to start off with and to come out about your sexuality and all of that it f- it always felt like a burden uh but i was so happy to meet shantika's parents uh where you know it like i said i'd never seen any parents so accepting and supporting yeah. like uh, they literally treat me like their daughter awesome. so uh, the first time i went to shantika's uh, place in calcutta uh, we had gone for a friend's wedding and uncle actually uh, you know took out his kurtas and in fact brought me a, a tasher silk kurta which is you know given to jamais I know, I know. in in bengal i am from kolkata so i know oh <laughs> <laughs> so he did that for me and it was beautiful like they they really really love me and i really love and adore them for giving me so much love and you know ha- to have parental figures around you who are so accepting supporting and you can talk to them about your feelings it's it's a blessing it is uh, for my family i think it will take a little bit time like uh, we are not there yet with conversations uh, but uh, they absolutely love and adore shantika wow yeah. we have wow. a we have a great equation her mother and i we so even recently we were in mumbai and we stayed with her family every time we go to mumbai we stay with her family um her mother and i will talk for long hours we go shopping together wow. anything auntie wants to buy she'll first ask me even if she cooks uh, you know food at home whatever she's cooked at home she and if i have stepped I. out for a bit she'll wait for me to come back ke you know saath mein khana khayenge all of that this this is i've received a whole lot of love from her family and you know that unspoken acceptance where maybe yes we are not discussing the terms uh lesbian lgbt we are not talking about these words but at the same time just seeing us together they they know we stay together right. you know they have visited our house here um we've had the griha pravesh together and all of that wow. so they do see us that we are staying together that uh they do see us together and they have been very loving and accepting of that got it so that that i think is 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 a big blessing especially for queer children uh even if we are not maybe at a space where we are discussing the term with her parents per se uh with her siblings though uh siblings and cousins yeah. also before that just one more thing to add and mm-hmm. and i mean it will we can't just assume uh and this goes out to all the queer people out there we can't just assume that okay your parents will be accepting overnight, overnight. it it takes take time. time it <clears> will <throat> definitely take time you also need to do that on your part like mm-hmm. right now when Shant- uh, my mother is seeing uh, my parents are seeing that i am uh, happy with shantika you know she's always there for me when uh, i'm sick because they are not around and she's always there for me you know, come what may they seeing that and that, that is obviously leading to acceptance and it will take time small steps but eventually i can see the transformation happening so i mean think about it uh, i came out at 24 right M- people come out at different ages but for most of us it takes so many years to come out to ourselves if i took 24 years to come out to myself to accept myself how can i expect parents to just accept overnight so true unko bhi to waqt lagega na agar humko waqt lagta hai to unhe bhi waqt lagega so yeah. so but uh, your parents they know yeah. right now yes. but they just don't know about shantika no they know about no, they know about shantika but they don't know that you are dating right now they know that also but it's just like yeah it's we don't talk about we it. don't huh. talk about we don't talk baat nahi karenge got it yeah. got it but your family completely knows about yes yeah, yes like, yeah. that okay she is your life partner absolutely. you like absolutely like my parents adore her in fact uh, uh, on our first anniversary mm-hmm. uncle and shantika 
stayed up all night making cute things for me. They made like so a, I was making a scrapbook, scrapbook. for her, okay. and my dad helped. Like he was cutting the pictures, he was sticking yeah. them, and all of that. Dad stayed up all night making it. <laughs> oh my god! So uh, okay, now keeping that scenario in mind. Okay, now because both your family knows about it. Okay, mm. maybe somewhere uh, your family knows it, but you don't talk about it, and your mm. family completely knows it, and mm. you talk about it as mm. well. So what was the age when you first got to know? Like you accepted it. Okay, so um, I think I came out to myself pretty early. I think I was born queer. <laughs> I think we all born queer. <laughs> like yeah. I knew that from yeah, the yeah. get go yeah. that uh, I am queer. But what was that queer. age that you understood things? Um, I think I was twelve. Right. That's when um, you know every time I saw a movie or a song playing on TV. I always imagine myself romancing the heroines. Right. <laughs> so, कुछ तो कुछ तो वहाँ पे था. And I had crushes uh, on my uh, classmates, my neighbors, and all of right. that. So I think I realized it pretty early. Uh, again, but never had the courage to openly discuss this with family or come out to them. Uh, but I think at the age of uh, maybe twenty two is when. My mother got to know about it, not through me. Okay. So and someone how? outed outed me to my mother, and oh. uh, that was very unfortunate. You know, I I I really till date I feel very angry about it. That it was my part. You know, ये मुझे बोलना था. That was my story, and uh, nobody should take that away from you. Uh, so that was a bit unfortunate that uh, she got to know it via somebody, and then because you were dating someone. Yeah. Well, okay. <clears throat> yeah, and um, somebody outed uh, me to my mother. uh and uh, obviously uh, first reaction was like okay uh, maybe we'll take you to the doctor and all of that mm-hmm. uh but mm-hmm. then i had to explain her that you know i have been like this always and i have was born like this and this is uh n- nothing nothing wrong in it uh and all of that but again slowly slowly we yeah. we don't really talk about it but she's seeing she seeing uh, yeah things are changing yeah. for good great great so uh, when was the first time you like came out to your friends maybe not to your family again you mentioned family got to know when you were 22 but maybe came out to your friends so unfortunately for us no the coming out never stops <laughs> you have to come <laughs> out <laughs> every day yeah kabhi friends kabhi colleagues kabhi neighbors you know it's like a ongoing journey yeah, even with friends like you you say to like maybe one close friend and then some yeah. other and like yes. it's an ongoing process it's yeah. like it's yeah. not like we can hold a press conference and be like hey everyone <laughs> by the way gay <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. okay so, so but in in college i came out to my best friend and uh, i think uh, but some of some of the coming out moments are very cute and this was again one of the special ones um i told him that uh, okay i am into girls and i'm queer and he's like meri nick to nahi badal rahi hai na meri best friend to nick wahi hai na how does it matter that's the thing about best friend yeah so that was sweet that was so sweet i think yeah. everyone deserve a best friend like that <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what about you so i i think uh, i took the most time coming out to myself uh, i came out to myself at 24 Okay. Uh, which is when I moved to Bangalore. I had moved to Bangalore to study here, and uh, then I, 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 at that time, I had a, I fell for a, a girl, and uh, she was part of the community. We never dated, but uh, she kind of became like a mentor for me, you right. know, and uh, she helped me understand. <laughs> huh? Your gay awakening. Yeah, my gay awakening. <laughs> she helped me understand uh, that yes a community exists i think i've always liked women i've had the most massive crush on a girl in school uh, but you know back then like especially in the 90s in calcutta there was no representation i, know, I did not <clears throat> see anybody who's in a woman loving woman relationship i did not know what that life looks like so for me and i was in a girl school used, used to be treated as you know one of those girls uh, yeah. girl school things you know you have a girl crush yes. so even though i had crushes on women growing up i never considered it and what it meant for who i was yeah. for my identity and it was only at the age of 24 when i came to bangalore and i met this woman and she told me about pride and wow. i went to my first ever bangalore pride oh, wow. uh, that year and i saw people from the community out there being themselves owning their identity you know in their rainbow glory yes. and just 
chanting uh, my body my rights mm-hmm. and just being themselves and i think that for me was my coming out to coming myself out to you. that's when i realized yes <laughs> i'm gay i'm a lesbian but did you date anyone before that no i did not did, i actually did not date a woman before that i did i i dated uh, i did have a, a boyfriend at one point but it was a long distance one like okay. not really right. anything substantial right. uh but yes i did not date a woman right. until um, I, when i realized so i realized without even dating a woman <laughs> uh, but uh, for me it was more about my identity it it's, and i i always believe this yeah. that I, it's not about the fact that if i am dating nick or not dating anybody or single for the rest of my life i'm still a lesbian yes. yeah that you doesn't know? Change. like Absolutely. like somebody is straight even if they're single yes just because they're single does not mean <laughs> they stop being straight yeah. uh, you know similarly uh, and that is when i realized for myself and once i did I there, did not stop. There was no going back. There was I I I was ready to scream from the rooftops. I would literally like anybody I met. Oh hi, I'm Shantika. By the way, you know I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I would not stop. I think a big thanks to your friend, like yeah. who you met when yeah. you came down to Bangalore, who explained you about the whole community and yeah. Who, yeah. like made you in like who introduced you to the community. Yeah. I, I also watch binge watched all the seasons of L Word. I think that yes. helped. Yes. Okay. Great. <laughs> so L Word L Word is actually a queer show, okay, uh, which is very. iconic uh, especially in the lesbian world yeah. and uh, it is a show full of uh, especially the previous seasons it was full of uh, women loving women relationships so i think watching that also that was my first exposure to some kind of representation especially in media right so i think that helped uh, as well in certain ways yeah. and since then i was pretty much out i was coming out to everybody i wrote a lot of spoken word poetry about uh, my queer identity started performing everywhere pretty much everything i did like the articles i wrote everything i did was wow. about queerness wow 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 so after that once uh, after one for the first pride that you went to okay hmm. so when did you meet her like what was the gap mm. your first pride was in 20 i'm so bad with dates which year did you come to bangalore 15 yeah 15 yeah ah, so after 15 2 years after 2 yeah, years yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so and okay so individually now how many people have you dated uh, let's not reveal that <laughs> <laughs> okay um i've dated three people you, before you've dated three. and uh, how, what was the longest relationship and what was the, like obviously this is the this, longest except this, this what, what the has longest. been the longest otherwise um i think there was a relationship for uh, about Two and a half to three years prior to this. Okay, yeah. and the shortest. One day. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, expecting that answer. No, 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 no. Those don't count. If if it's one day, it does not count. Okay, no. we are not counting those. Oh my god! I keep getting that. Why? It's a relationship. You need to count that. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I take so much time getting into a relationship. Of course, it will take place. I can't count one days. Okay, so what was your shortest? Um, I think one shortest day. was less than six months. Yeah, six less months. than six months. Yeah. Okay, so three relationships. One was two and a half years. Yeah. And one was six yeah. months. Great. I think um, five. Okay. Shortest was one year, actually few, uh, less than a year, and longest was uh, before her uh, three years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, have you guys been heartbroken? Oh, comes the fun part. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys been like heartbroken? Okay. So you know how we told you about we got together, right? And uh, that Lucknow trip happened yes. and everything happened. Yeah. Everything was going so good, so great. It took us some time to get into the relationship. Guess why? Because there was a heartbreak involved, hers specifically, oh by God. me. Because I broke up with her. Yeah, I mean I What? have. What? Yeah? <laughs> why didn't you tell me this first? <laughs> 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 okay, we want to know that. Okay, how yeah. was that heartbreak? So I had never really felt what a heartbreak feels like mm. until this time. Uh, it was really like I could really feel the pain. I think even now when I'm just talking about it, it's just mm. hurting me so bad. <laughs> mm. uh, so uh, after we just started dating and after this nice, cute Lucknow romant romantic Lucknow trip, 
uh, we come back to Bangalore and uh, Shantika decides that she needs a break. And I'm like, okay. Um, she's like, I want to focus on my career and all of that. You know, all those lies that girls tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 was, I was trying to be subtle and tell her I want to focus on my career and myself yeah. and all that. I was like, okay, fine. I'll, you know, I'll be your supporting friend. Don't worry. I'll still be there for you and blah, blah, blah. And then I realized, like, I come to know that she's gone back to her ex. Okay. Yeah, and I was, like, really heartbroken. <laughs> Obviously. So the thing is, right before I met her, uh, the whole friendship, everything started. Right before I met her, I had just gotten out of a messy relationship. Uh, which the was two and a half years you were mentioning about? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It was, it was uh, somebody I was living in with. It was a very complicated, messy situation. And uh, there was not closure there. And right after we started sort of dating, n not officially, but after we got together, Initially, um, the ex came back in the picture and there was a lot of um, turmoil there uh, in terms of they were also not in a good space and uh, they wanted me back and all of that. And for me at that time, it was, it was, it was definitely the wrong call, but it was a call that I took at that time. I messed up because um, I was like, I need to give that its due closure. due closure. I need to see if there is something more to that. Uh, and that's why I broke up with her. Right. Um, I went back <clears throat> to that ex. Um, I did not handle it well. Absolutely did not handle it well. I should have I should have been more upfront with her. Um, should have definitely told her what was going on. But it was a very complicated situation. And, and to be very honest, I messed up. I really messed up. Um, I know how much hurt it caused her because I became all Devdas. Yeah, I, I we <sighs> met, we met. I was, I was with uh, that ex of mine uh, at a at a club in in Ranagar itself, and uh, she had come there. She got to know okay. that I was there, and I had not okay. spoken to her for a week. Okay, and she came there. Okay. It was a again a very filmy dramatic <laughs> moment. Uh, so I did not know she was coming. I was there like I'm dancing and everything, and. I just move like this and I, she's, she's standing there. Oh my God. She's standing there like this with her back to the wall and she's like, continue, continue. Like that, full. Oh. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I, can I was like, oh fuck. Like, and then we went outside, we spoke, Kafi Sara Rona Dhona, a lot of crying and everything. And even in between that, this one is giving me full hero panti, okay? She lifts her shirt to wipe my tears. She lifts oh. the shirt and, and, and she tells me this. Okay, this, this by the way, has never been revealed before. She literally <laughs> told me this in that moment. She's like, and she's saying goodbye to me. She And in that, she tells me, And then she says, I'm not going to be a good one. 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 I'm she says, I don't know my name, I never have a heart. Oh, wow. And I'm like, I'm like, in that moment, I'm like, I know I'm breaking up with you, but I'm still getting more impressed with you. What is happening? This is very confusing. So, a couple of months after I went back to the ex, it did not pan out. And uh, I think that time away from her also made realized. me realize how much she meant to me. And what we had developed. But were you ta guys talking in no, that period? No, you not, no, you're not, not talking after that uh, no. pub uh, scenario? No, no, no. You did not I talk at all. Ja Simran, she was, oh go my try god, it out. you should have, and this was one week after we had uh, okay. stopped talking. You should have seen her that day. If I mean, if she's a girl, she's a girl, she's a girl, she's a girl, she's a girl. Okay, and uh, full has lost weight in one week. Full dark circles, yeah, full dark devdas. Yeah, dark circles, full devdas. She didn't have a bottle of water, but I said full devdas. Hasn't eaten, like her friends later yeah. told me she was not eating, she was not talking to anybody Because this was the first week. time ever that I really felt heartbroken. heartbroken. Yeah. I, like, like I said, no, it was, um, it was very difficult. I didn't feel like meeting my friends or I was just going to work, coming back, doing my thing. I didn't feel like doing it. Like, or kisi cheez mein maza hi nahi aata tha. Like, I was constantly missing her. Constantly, you know, it was like a tape of her memories is playing on loop in my head. I'm like, 
why did this happen you know it was going so good it was also very sudden like you know i had just lived some beautiful moments and, and then, then suddenly, suddenly yeah. taken away from you like it and it was just two sudden after it was, we had and it was very sudden, sudden. i think yeah right? very sudden so Like it was difficult point, to digest. It's like at one point you are at cloud nine, and yeah. suddenly you are at cloud zero, <laughs> yeah. and you that. Way. So I think you let her go. Yes. So in this la- like there is there is a thing that we say, uh, if you love something, yeah, you, you have let to let her go. If it comes back, yeah. it yeah. was yours. If it doesn't come back, it was never yours. Yeah. So how did you like? Because it is very difficult. Honestly, I cannot do that. Yeah. letting go of someone that you love is the most difficult thing in the world yeah true that um i i knew for a fact that uh, she was not making a good choice for herself but if that is what she wanted in that moment if that is what uh, was making her happy and i at the end i wanted to see her happy i mean i think that is what true love is I right she literally she literally stopped the car and told that person who I, I was with at that time she said take care of her <laughs> no but she said, take care of her but okay. nick but how like how did you let go and how does it feel to let go i had no other option <laughs> but us but, i yeah. think us time pe uski aankhon mein na dikh raha tha dard uski aankhon mein yeah. jo dard tha uske chehre pe jo pyar ki shiddat <clears throat> thi i think वो शिद्दत मुझे वापस ले आई दैट दैट इज व्हाट गॉट मी बैक द पावर ऑफ अ लव आई ट्रूली बिलीव दिस बट बट डिड एट दैट पॉइंट डिड यू एवर थिंक दैट यू विल गेट बैक विद हर लाइक दैट पिक्चर डिड यू हैव दैट पिक्चर इन योर हेड डिड यू मैनिफेस्ट हर आई न्यू फॉर अ फैक्ट दैट देयर इज नोबडी हु कैन लव हर लाइक आई डू आई जस्ट न्यू दैट आई एम लाइक ओके इवन इफ यू आर चूजिंग दिस फॉर योर हैप्पीनेस maybe you're missing out on some extra happiness that you would have got so i just i just i believed in the power of my love but again how did you no- stop talking to her like if you see technically if you see practically mm-hmm. if i am in love with someone even if i want to let her go shantika is not possible honestly mm-hmm. yeah you know So how did you manage to not talk to her all this while? Like you know, she used to do one thing. So actually, it, this is completely my fault. I'm the one who cut off completely because I was like, I don't think I will be able to do that, like talk to her and everything. But uh, later, I found out something. So just during like for the two months that we did not talk until we started talking again, uh-huh. uh, she used to actually drive. Uh, like I, she stayed in Sarjapur. I I used to stay in. Uh, um midtown okay what uh, is that uh, vipan hali ke vipan hali so, so very far clearly very, very, very quite far, far yeah so she used to drive all the way from sarjapur and just drive around my house like we were not ek jhalak dikh jaye bas we were not talking <laughs> she did not know if i was at home not at home she would just drive around my house hoping ke maybe i'll catch a glimpse of her oh my god aur aise bhi nahi matlab even if i would have seen her at that time i i wouldn't go and talk to her i'll just see her this ensure that okay she is happy i think i think the power of true love is so strong makeup kharab ho jayega rona nahi hai the power of true love is so strong that she actually came back yeah like did you ever think at that point that she'll come back no uh it wasn't like a thought in my head but you know some songs some bollywood songs when i used to listen to uh jaise kya tha wo uh teen lunga tujhe khuda se bhi all of that you know some some lyrics is really like yeah, that's when i used to feel like okay yeah maybe just to drive around listening to these songs and everything yeah. and, and and she said this uh, you know again an srk line that came true for us kisi cheez ko agar pure dil se chaho to puri kainat aapko usse milane mein jut jati hai yeah wow fuck <laughs> i'm feeling emotional because uh, I'll tell you why, because uh, I I'm in that kind of a situation where, oh. you know, where so it it is so difficult to let go, it is so fucking difficult to let go, and what you said, you know, sometimes, you know, there are signs from the universe that, yeah. and I don't understand this one thing. Sometimes few people they say that if you love something, let go of some, mm. let go of them, yeah. 
but on the other hand there are people who also say that if you love something don't let let go of them like just go <laughs> behind them and just make sure you Yeah. She did that. She did that. उसने उसने उसकी दीवानगी भी ऐसी थी कि you know she did pursue me to the ends of the world as well. Like to talk about when we got talking again, वो दो महीने बाद. So basically, uh, we did not like block each other or anything okay. like that. Right. I we don't just, believe in that. We just stopped talking. That's हाँ, we just stopped talking. Uh, but we used to check out each other's Instagram stories and all of that. That I was doing. <laughs> yeah, and I was also doing. Um, and. This is now lockdown time, okay. Um, and I see one story that she has put up on Instagram of a chair. So we used to do a lot of DIYs together, you know, painting, doing craft, and all of that. So uh, she, lockdown hobbies. Lockdown hobbies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So she was working on this chair that I saw, um, and I just this is after two months of not talking. I replied to her story and uh, hey, good to see that you're completing this chair. Something you on, replied. I I replied to her story, and that's when we got talking. Got again. talking again. Got, and until then, you were still dating your ex. Yeah, no, no, I had, I had, I had. You, uh, I was, but like, I mean, yeah, over the end, chapter. like the. Haan, you were, wo, wo, at we the were edge. having that conversation that listen, this is not working. Not working, yeah. and Haan. that is when she texted <clears> you again. Yeah. Haan. The timing, timing the, yeah, exactly. The, <laughs> the timing of the universe. Yeah, so we got uh, talking. And she again. had no idea that that was fizzling out or whatever. Okay, she had no idea about that. Huh. You had no idea about that. No, I had no idea. I'm like, okay, ये खुश है, but I'm like, ठीक है, चलो बात करके देखते हैं at least. And I always like, of course, I missed her as a lover, but more than that, I think I, I missed her as a friend. Friend. Because uh, she's probably the first person who with whom I really opened up. and uh, was really comfortable to talk about everything so i was really missing that so mm-hmm. when i messaged that it was with an intention that okay chalo kuch nahi to at least friendship, friendship. ho sakta and i will always used to tell her you know when we uh, started dating you never leave me okay even if you date somebody else keep me as your extra marital affair i always used to, <laughs> <laughs> i always used to tease her like that um so uh, yeah with that intention and hope of uh, friendship i uh, texted her again and then the rest is history and we started talking and, and then my divangi <laughs> yeah even then she she didn't make a lot of effort uh, at that time as well even i was missing her a lot and that's why i was so happy to talk to her because like i said earlier you know the comfort that we shared just able to talk to each other for hours on end she's in the truest sense she's my person she's my person the person i'm able to be my 100% self with and that is something when you let go of that like you miss that and you're like what did i do you know and uh, when we got talking again ek din maine usko aise i just told her that i was making some artwork and uh, i wanted an eraser and she in the middle of the night i didn't tell her i get me an eraser i said tomorrow i'll go buy an eraser buy. but she knew it's lockdown time it'll be difficult for me or something at 5 am in the morning she drove all the way from sarjapur to bypanahalli which is like some 30 kilometers to give me an eraser oh my god eraser to bas bahana tha bahana tha <laughs> and i came down for some tha. 10 minutes met her in the car took the eraser and that 10 minutes was pure yeah. bliss for us yeah She used to drive down all the way in between lockdown, like you know, police car uh, stops, tore ke, you know, yeah. all of that, and she'd make all that effort just to, uh, just to see a smile on my face. Yeah, I think if that doesn't win your heart, what does? And so I think effort be banta hai, huh? Effort be banta. Effort be banta. And I think hai. everything, all the effort that you've put in, I think it is just here. Yeah, it is right in front of you. so happy for you guys so happy thank you <laughs> okay so after listening to whatever story you had so far i think i just want to tell it to everyone that people do come back okay mm-hmm. in, if you have really loved them and if they are really right for you yeah. i think they do come back so pyar kar rahe ho to bas dil se pyar karte raho and just wait for the right time yeah. wo tumhara Absolutely. time nahi tha mm-hmm. ye tumhara time hai yes <laughs> right With that, I have something very interesting planned for you guys. Like okay. very, very interesting. I'm sure you all love it. Okay. Okay. So we have the Karan Johar style because you are a filmy person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rapid fire round. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So both of you, 
you can answer at the same time okay okay we okay, there's no competition fire. involved it's a, it's a competition not not a competition but it's just that things Team about Lisa. okay yeah you point each other you say okay okay huh. we go yes. start rapid fire in 3 2 1 favorite date spot go for it okay um uh, church street um matteo's cafe and then a stroll down church street to a bookstore that was a first date that was a first date oh great yeah who is a better cook me <laughs> doubtedly in <laughs> fact me. she patowed me by making bengali yeah. food for me i learned oh, bengali okay. dishes for her i love bengali shorshe shorshe pabda was my you know key bet to win her back oh, <laughs> yeah oh shorshe pabda sealed the deal <laughs> <laughs> okay favorite song that reminds you of each other um, what is your song तुमसे मिल के दिल का है जो हाल क्या कहे हो गया है कैसा ये कमा क्या कहे व्हाट व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट सॉन्ग बट लाइक आई आई ऑलवेज रिलेट दैट टू यू बिकॉज़ दैट वाज आवर रोमांटिक एरा व्हिच वन अम छीन लूंगा तुझे सारी दुनिया से भी द डेफिनेटली बिकॉज़ हां मुझे गाने का नाम याद है अरे सॉन्ग का नाम क्या है यू सिंग इट नो वन छीन ओ गॉड आई एम सो बैड एट सिंगिंग सिंग इट सिंग इट सारी दुनिया से भी इस ही तो है दैट सॉन्ग छीन लूंगा तुझे सारी दुनिया से भी इज वन ऑफ द लाइंस ऑफ द सॉन्ग इस सॉन्ग का नाम याद नहीं आ रहा बट यस दैट लाइन देयर बिकॉज एवरी टाइम आई लिसन टू दैट लाइन आई जस्ट सी हर एक्सप्रेशन एंड दैट पेंट एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ दीवानगी के तेरे तेरे बिन अब बना लेंगे एक विदम तुझे कितना चाहने तुझे कितना चाहने लगे हमें तो नहीं मालूम सामने से कि that song yeah oh this is from that movie कबीर सिंह not कबीर सिंह no it is आदित्य रॉय कपूर and no no शायद कपूर song is शायद कपूर हाँ 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 तुझे कितना चाहने लगे हाँ 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 कबीर सिंह song okay I'm bad why oh I should know it oh my god okay next cat or dog none None. Cautious pet allergy. Okay. Pet <laughs> for for allergy. allergy. Not yeah. Pet not pet allergy. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're allergic. For allergy. Yeah, yeah. I love dogs, yeah. but I'm allergic. I I start sneezing, so yeah. can't. Okay. Who says sorry first after a fight? Yeah, it's her. Always. <laughs> always. <laughs> so you you will go and be sorry all the time. You have been always the first one. Yeah. Yeah. थोड़ा सा एटीट्यूड दिखाना पड़ता है दिखाना पड़ेगा <laughs> मजा आता है नो बट लाइक आई थिंक ऑन एन ऑनेस्ट नोट लाइक शी टेक्स टाइम टू से सॉरी बट शी इज द वन हु वर्क्स ऑन द चेंजेस दैट नीड टू बी मेड मोर और आई विल जस्ट डू दिस क्यूट थिंग्स बट नॉट से सॉरी आई विल डू क्यूट क्यूट थिंग्स फॉर हर अराउंड इट बट नो डायरेक्ट सॉरी नो डायरेक्ट सॉरी थोड़ा टेंशन है नेक्स्ट हु इज मोर रोमांटिक मी Yes, and yes. what is that one most romantic things you have ever done? I know the proposal. Yeah. Okay, that is one of the best proposals. Apart from that. Apart from the proposal, um, can you recall anything? Tell, tell, tell. Tell, tell. Okay, according to you, I think, I think we should ask you. Ha! You should ask this to her. Okay, what has been the most romantic gesture she has, she has shown you? I think uh, one of the most romantic gestures she sh- she shows is not it's not the as much as she's done the proposal and everything but it's not the grand things it's the little things it's she little does thing. so every day in the morning she's the one who wakes up first because i hate waking up in the morning <laughs> she'll wake up first she'll ensure that the breakfast is ready food is ready everything is done and then wake me up slowly because she knows i hate being woken up abruptly to wo pyar se mujhe bahut pyar se neend se uthayegi Every time at night when we go to sleep, I used to have difficulty falling asleep. I used to be an insomniac, so she would always make sure that I sleep on her arm, and she do something. So there's a thing in Bengali called shushchudi, which okay. is like yeah, balo yeah. se, aise, know, aise, yes. uh, balo ko selana, you know, aise. So she play with my hair and put me to sleep. I think these are the most romantic things that she does. Wow. And this is like an everyday ritual. Everyday <laughs> it's an everyday ritual. It's an everyday thing. <laughs> that i think those show more love and care than absolutely a bouquet of roses and which which she does as well you know yeah. she do those but these everyday things i think especially now after 4 years of relationship that's what wins my heart i think more. small things matter more yeah. than grand gestures yeah. okay next who does more drama in a relationship 
Obviously, she is the drama queen. Drama queen, eh? Yeah. But you are the first one to say sorry, right? Yeah, but dramatically sorry bhi hota hai na. Bol diya maine sorry. This dukha mera tha. Maine sorry bola. Ho gaya mera kaam bolna tha. Wo sorry bolne ke baad 10 baar to sunana bhi hai na. Maine sorry bola tha. Sorry, maine bola tha. Maine bola tha. Okay, who is more lazy? Uh, I think Shantika. Very. Yeah, obviously she prepares breakfast for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you are very lazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's actually super active. She also comes from a sports background, right? Yeah, yeah. She's super active. I, I, I like like lazing around and being comfy and. Your, your yeah, bed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. I'm a, I'm a princess. I, I expect the princess treatment, <laughs> and she gives it to me. <laughs> okay, who is more talkative? Shantika. She doesn't let me talk. Also, at times. <laughs> There have been so many interviews when I'm like, okay, my turn, my turn. Shantika is going on and on and on. <laughs> But yeah, she loves to talk, and she talks sense all the time. So I also love to hear when she talks. <laughs> <laughs> Which is your favorite food? Butter chicken. I mean, and Shantika. You mean apart from each other? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god oh my god um, <laughs> Yes I should mention that apart from each other apart what is your favorite each food other, um, my favorite food is uh, posto alu posto alu posto that is that is so good. <laughs> Chinguri or posto, alu shiddu anything posto. with alu I I love alu alu yeah so alu shiddu Okay okay last one who is more likely to sleep while talking Me not I'll be talking. She will Guilty. fall asleep. Yes, is it? She would have fallen asleep. Like every time, even if you're watching a movie, we'll take some fifteen minutes to decide which movie to watch. After that, we play the movie, and it's it's immaterial because within five minutes she's asleep. Guilty, guilty. And I'm watching it for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> she okay. would definitely. Which is your favorite movie? Favorite movie. Together, watching together. Kabi kushi kabi kabi. Yeah. You are a pro. <laughs> like you know, from the start till the end, there hasn't been a moment without Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, of course. <laughs> And I'm very like she said. I'm very like you know, Chandni Chowk ki Anjali <laughs> Sharma. So you know, by that logic also. Okay. And I think it makes sense for us in a queer context also. Like, yeah. Standing by your love when probably. Initially, family doesn't support. We always say that. Imagine Ketri ji as a queer love story. Wow. You know where wow. father wow. is against it and not uh, accepting the relationship, and then eventually years later, years later, does you find family acceptance? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Now I want to know because we are towards the end. There wow. are just few more questions coming around. Okay. One best thing you like about her. and one best thing you like about her okay what i like about shantika is i don't think and i don't i'm not saying this because she's my partner she's the most purest heart i've ever come across she's very kind she is very kind to friends family and strangers equally like you know she really lives with empathy and understand somebody's pain and it is it is beautiful like i it i am not like that it's difficult for me and i've never seen somebody with such a generous and kind heart i think she has the most beautiful heart in the world in fact uh, she calls me rid yeah so what, what, she doesn't what? call me shantika i call her rid and what does rid mean rid is heart in uh, shantika in bengali oh, sorry in shantika okay rid okay yeah. okay okay rid means in heart rid in the, bengali yeah, rid yeah. so in bengali rid means heart and that's her name for me she calls me rid that's my personal dark name for her oh wow <laughs> okay okay what is that one thing you like about her i think uh, what i love about nick the most is her love for family is because she's 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 a very detached person otherwise but when it comes to her loved ones and her very close circle her family <clears throat> and those she holds close to her heart and considers family she can go all out she she's she's all heart for them like for the rest of the world she can be clinical detached practical all of that but when it comes to her loved ones duniya idhar udhar kar deti and that's what i love the most about her and i am fortunate that i get to be her family too 
now for people who are in a relationship right now okay what is that advice you would want to give them anything it it not an advice but something that you want to tell them first of all nick from your point of view because letting go waiting and the universe was in your favor okay so what is that one thing you want to tell to people who are in love right now and it is hard for them to let go but they still have hope what what is that one thing you would want to tell them i really feel that love doesn't happen at first sight i really don't believe in that concept i think love grows and for you to also understand if the other person is worth the love that you're giving it's very important to first figure that out because yes you can fall in love very easily with anyone but to realize that you know the amount of love that i am giving is that person worth it is very important like you can't just randomly start loving multiple people yeah. it's not going to give you any long term result so it's very important to figure out who's worth it and be patient with love you know because love grows like if you go on a first date i try to you will definitely try to make the best first impression wear your best clothes put your best perfume on but what really matters is when you see that person apart from apart from that first impression when you live with that person every day yeah. are you still falling in love with that person you know when that person is doing annoying things is it really annoying you or are you finding it cute yeah. all of those things so i think love grows you should be patient with it okay. and I, i i do agree with everything nick said because we've always believed in this that we don't believe in falling in love we believe in rising in love walking and in it is something where you work on your relationship every day because yeah. it's very easy to fall in love but a relationship takes much more than just falling in love it takes growing together it takes both people being willing to put equal amounts of effort to make it work because no matter how much you love somebody there will be there will be glitches along the relationship okay. like she said you know once the first impression wears off there will be places where you're not probably able to communicate the same things to each other to take the time to learn each other's uh boundaries to communicate uh to learn each other's ways and uh find out what your way together is way forward together is i think that's very important that very so important. that is something i would tell anybody yes yes i know it looks like a filmy love story it looks like a fairy tale and all of that uh but that only comes when you actually put in the work it what and from shows, both ends from both ends right. it, what shows on the surface the beauty of it is only the surface layer what goes behind it is hours of conversation hours of talking to each other we've spent nights talking to each other figuring out um, each other's boundaries or what works for us or explaining our uh, issues to each other so we can work on them together i think that's what uh, makes us who we are we always say this we say we are team nisa you know because nick and shantika and nisa and we say that as long as we have each other we can do anything we we say it as almost like a mantra we say we are team nisa we got this yeah. you know and, and it is always also said like this that uh, it is never you and the problem it's like you two together Absolutely. one side yeah. and the problem yeah. Correct. so you have to sit together figure out talk it out how can you solve that problem Absolutely. yes and that is exactly how relationships are built and it goes on for life yeah and conversations are extremely essential like i coming from a family or uh, my upbringing wasn't as such where you know it was very easy to open up or talk about things but uh, i think shantika really helped me in that uh, where we now talk about how we feel what we like what we don't like and that just makes everything It's easy, easy around you so and it's very it's also important to understand that <clears throat> you no matter how much you love each other you're not the same person hmm. so they may not react the same, same way, way. Correct. and that's okay you have to learn their ways also so like true. shayad aapko you want to maybe have a conversation about it right now but maybe they are not like okay to have a conversation right then 
doesn't mean so that's when you find a midway it doesn't mean you'll not talk about not it talk about we we have so this, we, yeah uh-huh. so we have a code word like if there are like some situation like mm. um, you know we feel that something is off um we just have a code word let's say the code word is melody mm. okay we'll just say melody which means okay there is something wrong acknowledged but we don't want to talk about it right now mm. Mm. whenever we are ready we'll talk about it yeah. like she otherwise you know it, initially otherwise, when I we started dating it was it, it used to be like नहीं बताओ ना क्या हुआ नो टेल मी नाउ टेल मी नाउ बट दैट माइट अनॉय दी अदर पर्सन इवन मोर कि नो आई डोंट वांट टू टॉक अबाउट इट राइट नाउ सो दिस एक्नॉलेजेस दैट नो दिस इज नॉट गो अन एड्रेस वी विल एड्रेस इट बट नॉट राइट नाउ बट एट अ स्पेस एंड टाइम व्हेन वी आर बोथ बोथ आर रेडी एंड कंफर्टेबल सो दीस छोटे छोटे चीजें यू नो ये नुस्खे एंड हर एक के लिए अलग होगा यू विल सी योर ओन ओन इश्यूज एंड डील विद इट अकॉर्डिंगली बट फाइंडिंग आउट दीस थिंग्स दिस इज the kind of effort it takes it it, it definitely yeah. it takes to make it work i think in my last relationship what you just mentioned in the last mm. relationship it was the same thing where maybe i love football so much mm. the and i want to talk about football mm. okay but the other person is not so much into it mm. so and if she loves something else and i'm not so much into it does not mean i won't talk about it mm. yeah. we will still sit together we'll mm. try to understand okay tell me okay i don't know mm. but huh. tell me i would want to know little huh. yeah, yeah. so i think it is also the effort you want to put in to understand what the yeah. other person wants to tell you it, it's true we are very different we are polar opposites like she's so practical she's so she's a complete workaholic i am like you know fairy tale her life my head is in the clouds and all of that but finding that middle ground finding something it's like a jigsaw piece where you both fit, fit. you know that is very important very that important. is very important for for the full picture to come together right now there are a lot of people out there okay they maybe they are very scared to come out okay whether individually to themselves or maybe to their families mm. or maybe the relationships they are in okay so what is that one thing because you have gone through it mm. okay and i won't say you have gone through it and you are over it you are still going through it mm. right now okay so what is that one thing you would want to tell everyone out there who wants to come out but they are so scared of the society of everything that is happening around okay so first off i want to say that you don't necessarily have to come out okay let's get that one thing clear your queer identity is just as valid whether you're out or not okay uh second thing that i would like to say is that there is no rush to come out there's no right time to come out like i have come out at 24 nick knew when she was 12 right. people have come out at different times throughout their life and you keep coming out anyway you come out to family you come out to friends you come out to different people at different times mm-hmm. so there is no per- right time or, or it's too late i need to come out now i need to come out now please don't rush into coming out the most important coming out is coming out to yourself yeah. as long as you can look at yourself in the mirror and accept, accept who you are that's enough that's secondly if you are planning to come out to uh, people outside or close friends uh, be very aware i think of how it can go uh, take precautions accordingly financial import, uh, independence is something that's very very important uh if you feel things are not going to go your way and you know especially with family, family. that uh, because a lot of kids do get disowned uh if you feel things like that then it might be wise to ensure you have some kind of uh financial independence before you do that uh secondly reach out to queer support groups there are a lot of queer affirmative therapists who can maybe help mediate a conversation with your parents there are uh a lot of queer organizations also ngos uh, like suffer for equality in calcutta who can help you uh, if things don't turn out well so find out all these things keep your uh, backup that if you do come out to family and things don't turn out well you have somebody to reach out to Absolutely. so and also your support system in place. also important to have your support system otherwise like uh, be mindful of who you're coming out coming to out. yeah ensure that you have uh, friends that you can trust you can rely on 
uh, family uh, if it's not easy just you don't need to uh, like again you know try to find your space uh, your comfort zone and then only come out don't just randomly go and tell the world about it because it might backfire yeah so ensure you are safe that is that is a primary importance ensuring your safety uh, and luckily we live in a world today like at least when we were growing up uh, we did not have enough resources now at least thanks to the internet it's easy to reach out to people uh, there are so many uh, ngos and uh, organizations right now who are uh, helping people uh, deal with this and of course uh, if any of you all ever struggle you can always just dm us we will uh, help you connect with the right resources uh no matter which city you are in we will always try our best to you know uh, give you the help and support that is required because we understand this this can be difficult and uh, you need this and don't worry you're not alone in this journey there are so many like you that you can see we are we are living the life uh, uh being that out loud proud queer uh, person right and you, even you can be that um just don't forget that uh, we, there's there's an entire community with you you're not alone yeah. you're not alone i think that information what shantika and nikki just gave is so helpful to a lot of people out there i think because a lot of people they don't even, they don't even know what is this happening and who to share it with like yeah. l- not even the best friends yeah. they can share it with so i think what information that you just gave it is going to help a lot 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 of people and it was very sweet and kind of you to say that if any one of you are going through some in, in are you in a situation like that you can always reach out to them mm-hmm. you can reach out to me we will help you to connect with people like that yeah. so that is very kind and very sweet of you mm-hmm. okay and i think this is there is nothing more beautiful to end this episode like this okay thank you for just coming here for making us realize how beautiful love is for telling us your story for telling us that if you really love something bas pyar karte raho wo cheez wapas aayegi okay with that thank you. we end this special 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 episode and thank you for being here thank, thank you, you so much, much. You and so a much. very happy valentines day to oh, you oh yes happy, happy valentines, valentines day. day to everyone <laughs> so thank you for watching and if you loved this episode don't forget to subscribe and like this video because we are going to come up with more beautiful podcasts going forward and if you like the studio you can always dm taper fox studios on instagram and book this space see you next time